Right, it's time for our birthdays and family news part now. So we have a birthday this week on the 30th of October. It will be Megan's birthday and Megan will be 11. So I hope you have a really lovely day, Megan. And I'm going to try and blow you some bubbles. They have not been cooperating with me this week, but we'll give it another go. No. There you go, finally. <laughs> Happy birthday, Megan. And for our family news this week, yesterday was Scott and George's wedding day. So I really hope you had a really special day and enjoyed yourself so much. And uh, well, congratulations and enjoy this beginning of your new married life together. And so we'll move on to our reading for this week. And uh, in the same vein as ours from last week, which Wendy brought you, we're going to be reading a letter to Theo. Well, Theo, the Holy Spirit did come just as Jesus had promised. And it happened like this. For days, the disciples and others had been waiting and praying, remember? They were all together in one room. When they heard a loud noise, like a mighty rushing wind, they all ran to the windows to take a look outside, trying to see what was happening. But there was nothing outside. The noise was inside the building. They looked at each other in bewildered amazement. And that's when they noticed flames of fire resting on each of their heads. But there was no smoke, no burning, just flames. And then it happened. The disciples began to feel brave again, just like they had felt when Jesus was with them. In fact, although they couldn't see him, it felt like Jesus was really with them again. They were so excited. They burst out of the house and onto the streets where large crowds of people had gathered to see what all the fuss was about. The disciples began to tell all of the people the wonderful news about Jesus' love for them. But can you believe it, Theo? The disciples were all speaking in different languages. Languages they had never learnt. How amazing is that? The Holy Spirit was helping them, just as Jesus had said he would. And now people from all over the world were hearing the good news in their own languages. Do you know, Theo, on that one day, 3,000 people became followers of Jesus. And that wasn't the end either. Oh no, not a bit of it. The disciples were so changed when they received the Holy Spirit that they stayed together, praying and worshipping God, rejoicing in his goodness. They ate together and shared all that they had with each other and with those who were in need. They became so good at sharing that nobody among them had need of anything. Not only that, but there were miracles and healings too. So many wonderful things were happening. The disciples spoke and acted with great power and authority just as Jesus had said they would. Well, of course, Theo, good news travels fast, even without the internet. People came from far and wide to see what was happening in Jerusalem. Each day, more and more people decided to become followers of Jesus. I told you, it was amazing. But that's still not the end. That was just the beginning of the adventures with God. I can't wait to tell you more.